It's your boy T Money with another lit lit live reaction, man. Today we reacting to just the first week of 2024, man. So reacted to the first week of 2024, 24. It been coming out with straight uh, internet breaking content going on, man. Just things that's going on. It, it, it's just going wild, man. You got your boy right here. You know what I'm saying? Cat Williams. He's one of the first people we're about to react to. You know what I'm saying? Of, of, of 2024. You know what I mean? See what he had to say, man. Cat Williams wrote. So what Ricky Smiley say on his? You can't say my lines. I wrote them. Mm. That's how I... Shots fired. So already you coming. He coming at... Hey, he coming at Ricky Smiley's neck. Already shots fired, man down. If you was a comedian, you had any smoke with this man right here, yo, he was, he was, he was emptying the clip at your ass for real. I already, already know that I'm gonna be funnier than you. What he told everybody was, Cat Williams, eh, eh, don't nobody know who he is? I'm on the radio. I'm with Steven Said. Everybody know me. That's what he told everybody that would listen to on the set. He should have never said that. He should have never said that. He came because when she said that, you said Steve. You said, you know, say Cedric, Ricky. He coming for all y'all, man. Cat. I mean, Cat's coming for y'all, man. Kevin Hart, you know what I'm saying? You, you caught strays. Uh, Faison caught strays. Everybody who has something to say that this man, had, he had on his mind. Your boy Cat Williams standing on business. You feel me? He's standing on business coming for your ass. That, that's the truth of the matter. He was so egregious, not now, then. He was so egregious that, and Hollywood has never heard this in a hundred years. He was so egregious, I put in my contract that I won't work with Ricky Smiley again unless he's in a dress. Now, what was Ricky? That's crazy. That is uh, some crazy work. How you gonna put in your contract? This is how you know this man Cat William hold grudges because we ain't heard from Cat Williams in like I don't know how many years. When he came out, he came out for 2024 and put about the ass to all these chameleons. He's, he he literally put in his contract that he will not work with Ricky Smiley unless Ricky Smiley's in a dress. That <laughs> that's petty right there. Smiley's next movie. Was it first Sunday? Did he wear a dress in it? You bet he did. It's in my contract. Indeed. Why would you put that in your, put his, in your contract, Cat? That's where he's the unbelievable actor. Damn. Him and Tyler Perry can't play a man to save their and, life. And I don't even think he drunk for real. He sipping water right here. He bet, he was sipping, you know what I'm saying, some fine cognac, you dig, with your boy, you know what I'm saying, on Club Shay Shay, you, know, you feel me? But right now he's sipping water. He's staying hydrated. He don't look lit to me. He don't look crazy to me. You feel me? You know, a lot of things he said, he been, uh, people are gone, you, uh, TikTok, they've been fat checking him. He said that he ran a 4-4 four, four or 4-3. Four, There's uh, footage of him running that fast. And this man 52. You know what I mean? He said that all these comedians come out. They they, they have to come out to for them to get to the next level. They got to wear dresses. And that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? All, all the biggest comedians have done it. They wore dresses. You know what I mean? Just sorry to say, that's what it is, man. I don't know if it's part of the industry, you know what I'm saying, getting to the next level, but you got, you. got it seems like if you a comedian in the industry and you want to blow, you got to wear a dress, man. They play good women, and I believe that the best actor should be in the best role. So that's why, because when we released that clip and he said that, you responded because he said he was supposed to play Money Mike and you were supposed to play, play Santa Claus. An outright lie. So That he knows is a lie. So why would he say it? Because he's a liar. Nobody knows why liars lie. And that's why I had to come on the program. Cedric did the same. And what y'all would want to not do is act like my man Cat Williams crazy, man. He's a very intelligent person. Um, you know what I'm saying? If you listen to him, 
even as comedian, yeah, you, he he's funny, funny. Mike has a pimp content, but if you really listen to him and what he got to say, especially like in interviews and when he's speaking, he's well spoken and he knows exactly, you know, say what he wants to say. What's exactly on his mind is this exactly what he's going to say. Same thing. Cedric told you when you asked him, did you steal Cat Williams' joke? Yeah. He said it don't line up. How it don't line up that I did it on TV in 2018? You came to see me at the comedy store do it in 2019 and then did it on the Kings of Comedy. Like, what doesn't line up? I This is a televised joke that Mark Curry helped me punch up and get to. That was where he did fuck up because uh, the timeline of 2000. Uh, 2018, 2019. How's he gonna come on uh, King's Comedy? I think King's Comedy probably came out in like 03. So that that, that doesn't line up. He did correct himself on that. But uh, you know, saying with that being said, uh, let's go to the next thing. Um, you know, saying next thing we're gonna react to for 2024 because there's more. It's more. Let's just get started right now. We have something to discuss here about an alien. <laughs> All right, so what we're not going to do is just skip over. If you haven't seen what happened at the mall in Miami, you know, saying allegedly there was some, um, you know, saying some alien sightings, you know, saying there was uh, some type of portal. Uh, they said that it was some kids fighting. But if you see how many police came to that was there, it was way more police than should have been there for a regular high school kid fight. You know what I mean? Like it was out there. But we we gonna react to it. Uh, we got you know saying the Miami, you know saying they. So right now here, Miami police trying to debunk the rumors. But we know what it is, man. We have something to discuss here about an alien uh, potentially. <laughs> Miami police clearing up some conspiracy theories about a recent invasion <laughs> on New Year's Day. A large what was that? Was what is that? What is that coming out walking like that? Posted online claiming it was due to an alien sighting in that area. So what really but happened? But that, that all the police, police you say all that yeah, police presence is for, uh, for a fight? Of 50 teenagers started a fight after setting up fireworks, looting. The alien, in air quotes, in the video was really just a tall person walking. It was not. Who said that? Where'd that come from? It's according to police reports. Hey, police even look. Hey, even the look. Even even the uh, look. Was this Fox Two? You know what I mean? Saying in, in their opinion, it sounds like they they don't believe the police either. They not believe in the Miami police either. So we already got you know saying Cal Williams coming. Shots fired. We got alien sightings at the Miami Mall, you know, and the, and we got the Miami police trying to debunk it. The tall person. Uh, this is a tall person. The, tall the alien. No, they said it was just a person, part. just a person uh, walking. A nine foot person. A nine foot person well, walking. This does remind me of other stories where you guys have believed that. Um, <laughs> remember that story? Was it Vegas where yes. the aliens were in the backyard and then they what got? Remember that cell phone video? That, Gone. Right. No video of it. Gone. And these, the claim from the. Yeah. Yeah. We are gonna leave it right there. And on the next one, 2024, this is one of the wildest things I've ever seen. I'm going to turn now to the Las Vegas judge who was. All right. And this one right here is the crash out moment of 2024. <laughs> this happened like within the like probably uh, the first couple of days of it because he already back in court. Man, if, if this if you watch this footage right here, you already know 2024 is about to be a wild year. Was violently attacked in her courtroom by look, a man being look. sentenced. Yeah. And back with <laughs> yeah. Look at the fear in her eye, though. When he was, when she, when he was pulling up. Look, look, look. Being sentenced. <laughs> Aaron Katursky is back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at her. Look at her eyes right here, man. We're going to take a moment. Just look at her eyes. She's like, them just got big. And then. By a man being sentenced. <laughs> Aaron Katursky is back with the story. Good morning again, Aaron. That's how you jump into 2024, man. Like I said, we don't condone violence of any sorts, you know what I mean? But we're going to show you, okay, yeah, I can laugh about it, but let's see. I'm going to show you how they had him back in court after that, you know what I'm saying? Wow. Look, look at this guy. They got him. They got him. The mask around. They got all of them around. They got him. 
Locked up. Look, it, look. Look, look at him. Look, it's sadder than a deer in the headlight, man. You know what I'm saying? Doing bad. Doing bad for the 2024, man. We just gonna leave it right there, man. It's your boy T-Money Makes Bucks with another lit, lit reaction. Reacting to the only the first week. It's the eighth of the 2024 with more to come, man. There you have it, man. We out, man. Leaving the chat. You know what I'm saying? What you think is one of the uh, most wildest experiences so far um, in the 2024 so far? You know what I'm saying? How did you bring in your New Year's? Leave that in the chat. And as always, man, stay, you know what I'm saying? Hit the bell to stay notified. If you're new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and hit that sub button. Like it up. It's your boy T-Money. I'm out. One.